Whenever I have my friends over for an intimate dinner, there's always a special request to prepare my signature saffron lamb shanks, which I prepare with some broad bean and dill rice on the side. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make my signature recipe with a special twist. I'm gonna be adding some honey and I've got the Langizi black forest honey. It adds a lot of flavor to my dish and the enzymes from the honey act as a wonderful tenderizer to the meat. I always start off by preparing the lamb. In a bowl, I'm gonna prepare my dry rub, which I'll coat the lamb with. For the dry rub, I'm gonna add some flour and I'll season with my spices. Here I've got some turmeric powder, cinnamon powder, Arabic spice, some cardamom powder, white pepper, black pepper, and I'll just mix all the ingredients together. Before I start coating the lamb shanks with my flour mixture, I'm gonna lightly season each piece with some salt. I'll start by heating my pots. I'll add some vegetable oil to the base, and I'll just coat my lamb with the flour mixture and then sear it in my heated oil. And we'll just continue coating the rest of the shanks the same way. Rotate the meat to ensure that all sides have browned. And in the meantime, I'm going to chop my onions. I've got two large onions which I'm going to thinly slice. Then reserve the seared meat on the side. And in the same pot, add your sliced onions. And to it, I'll add one cinnamon stick and bay leaves. Once the onions have softened, I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of the Langizi Black Forest honey. And this is just going to be the wow factor for this recipe. The beauty about Langizi honey is that it's made out of pure bee honey. It's a wonderful alternative to sugar and it's got a lot of health benefits. Give everything a nice mix before we add in the lamb. And finally, I'm just gonna cover the lamb with water. Add a pinch of ground saffron. This is going to add lots of flavor. And finally, some rose water. Cover the pot with a lid. And allow this to simmer on medium heat for about 90 minutes to an hour and 20. You want the meat to be soft so that it falls off the bone. While my lamb is cooking away, I'm gonna start preparing my broad bean and dill rice, which we call in Farsi, borali polo. Borali means broad beans and polo is basically the rice. Once the water comes to a boil, I'll add the soaked and drained rice. Drain the rice, and now we're ready to assemble. For the rice, I've got some dried dill and some broad beans. Now, you can either use frozen broad beans, which you peel the skin off. These are dried broad beans, which I just soaked overnight so that they're ready to use. And for the base of my rice, I'm gonna make a potato-based tadig. I'll thinly slice the potatoes. And in a non-stick pan, I'll add some vegetable oil to the base. Layer the potato slices on the bottom. And finally, I'll just alternatively layer the rice, dill, and broad beans in the pot. Another layer of rice. And a final layer of rice. 
pull the edges in. Now I like to make my rice extra buttery. So I'll just add dollops of butter on top. This is going to make my rice incredible. Now I'm going to place a heat diffuser on the large eye. Cover the lid of my pot with a kitchen towel. And I'll let it steam cook on medium heat for about 45 minutes until the rice is fully cooked through. So my lamb's been cooking for a while, my rice has finished steam cooking and now it's time to present the food. So I'm going to show you my favorite way of serving this. Now you can opt to either serve the rice and the lamb shank separately, but I like serving them together because I just think it's a much more beautiful presentation of the food. Ah, oh, that smells beautiful. I'm just going to fluff up my rice to make sure that everything is beautifully mixed together. And then I'll add my lamb shanks on top. Just look at how beautiful those look. And I'll just serve these on top of my rice. And I'll just drizzle some of the juice on top and my recipe is complete. And there you have it, a gorgeous platter of saffron lamb shanks served on a bed of beautiful and fluffy broad bean and dill rice. Hope you guys like this recipe, do try it at home and I hope your guests enjoy it as much as mine do. See you guys later! Thank you.